two memories that just stick out in my mind. One, um, being a freshman at Kansas State University playing football, we made it to the Holiday Bowl out in San Diego. And so I was out there and played in that game. Um, and then my brother was on the Northwestern uh, Rose Bowl team that same year. So instead of flying home to Kansas State, I stayed out an extra couple days, got to go watch him play in the Rose Bowl. So kind of the pinnacle of, of my career was being a part of the Kansas State Bowl team and then going to get to watch my brother play in the Rose Bowl, which is pretty cool. Um, probably the other one, like I said, I alluded to two, would be that I got to coach um, with my dad and my brother, which is kind of unique. Um, you know, as a player, my father coached us, uh, but then also coming back and graduating and getting to coach with my older brother and my dad was a pretty unique experience, pretty cool. When I was in high school, I really truly only had one goal, and that was to be a Division I athlete and play football. Um, I achieved that. I got a scholarship to play for Kansas State in the Big 12. Uh, unfortunately, injury did not lead to a college career that I wanted it to go, um, but I think some of the things I learned, you know, and getting to that point and dealing with some of that adversity kind of helped shape who I am today. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the committee who just even took the time to consider, you know, that something I did when I was younger was even worth having an, an evening like this. And then all the coaches from youth sports all the way up to college football, I think I learned and and took something from every single one of them who, who helped shape it. And then obviously, um, my parents have always been supportive. My mom knows as much football as any anybody else. And uh, my dad coached for 30 years and, and an older brother was supportive and played and, and just the family support was always there. Honestly, I think I've done probably maybe even more since my playing days. I'm just coming back to the community and in my 15th year here with the school district and as a teacher and a coach and administrator, I think I'd like, I'd like to think I've helped a lot of families and kids in Grand City and the community over the years. Um, so I'm proud of that.